What is up guys? Today is Saturday, August 20th, 2022. Welcome to another video. Today we're doing a product review slash personal box break of 2021 slash 22 Topps Finest Bundesliga Soccer. So this is an all new product that came out just three days ago and uh, was overpriced on Topps. You can get pre-orders for cheaper. Most pre-orders were around the $100 mark and I got mine for just slightly less than that shipped. And um, the prices have already kind of dropped to around 75 or so a box. Um, so again, it's only been three days and the price is already dropping and there's a couple reasons why. Finest, this is the second year release for Bundesliga and uh, UEFA Champions League. They have multiple years of that spanning a few years further back. And uh, traditionally speaking, it is a higher end hobby product than Chrome. However, again, with this year's production rates, uh, Finest, you know, even UEFA has kind of tanked. And uh, I feel like it no longer bears resemblance to what it once was as a product that was far better than Chrome in terms of autograph quality and just because of less cards and everything and smaller print runs as well and not as flagship. So you get two autographs per master box and in this master box you have two mini boxes um, in which each mini box will have five cards per pack and six packs per box and on average we've seen about 10 numbered cards per master box uh, from other people's breaks and the reason why is because you have a crazy number of parallels you have refractors, yellows out of 350, yellow waves out of 350, pink out of 300, pink wave out of 300, purple and purple wave both out of 250, as well as black and black wave too. Blue and blue wave out of, blue wave out of 150, green and green wave out of 99, gold out of 50, orange out of 25, red out of 5, and super factor 101s. 150 base card checklist with a couple of rookies to look for, and a 100 card autograph checklist. So very, very big. You have Erling Holland as potential one of one right there. And you do have, you know, other chase autos like Bellingham, Reyna, um, you know, uh, Lewandowski, um, Florian Verts, just to name a few off the top of my head. And then you also have uh, five card finest goalkeepers, die cut autos, five card finest strikers autos, uh, and 10 cards for finest touch autographs, as well as five finest young talent autographs. All of those are the four insert sets in which the autograph variations are numbered even in the base. So without further ado, let's get this box opened. This is the first time I've actually opened any finest of any sport or any year. So definitely one way to introduce myself to this product line. We have two mini boxes. And uh, both sides are identical. The odds are on the side here. And let's do this mini box first. Wish me luck. So again, it is a fun product. If someone's selling, you know, for example, these mini boxes at, you know, $40 or less each, it's not bad at all for an autograph rip. In terms of the autograph plus numbered card ratio to price, Bundesliga Finest is actually the best product of any product on the market right now. Um, so let's do this. Pack number one from the first mini box. And again, we can always hit something very, very nice as well. So just because most boxes don't have anything too crazy does not mean this one won't either. And then without further ado, let's get started. So we have a Stiller rookie, Huber's rookie. We have a Strikers, Finest Strikers insert of Andre Silva, in which all the inserts are in the refractor look. And then we have our first parallel is going to be a refractor of Arne Meyer, and then another base of Hincapi. And oh, one more thing to note, um, the QC on this year's Finest has had some issues, referring to Bundesliga in particular. Uh, some of the cards have like major, major surface problems. So that's something to note. But again, I think it could depend on the batch. My box so far has been decent, um, just based on that first pack. We do have a yellow and a blue here, so, and a black wave. Holy crap, three parallels in one box? I'm guessing one of them might be an auto. Angelino, Riedel Baku, black wave. This should be out of 250. And we have a blue autograph of Lucas Toussaint. There we go. So we have the Black Wave Baku, numbered 5 of 199. So, okay, I guess I was reading off the cardboard connection, and they said 250, but that was a typo. Black Waves are out of 199. Lucas Toussart, blue autograph. That should be out of 150. And, oh, it's actually out of 37 out of 65. Never mind. I'm sorry about these numbers. I'm getting them completely wrong. 37 of 65 Toussart, blue autograph, and a yellow of Takuma Asano for Bokum. And that one's going to be 324 or 350. So the yellows are very, very uh, high printed. And Lucilla. I guess I would be more welcoming to the parallels if they, um, if they didn't have the wave variations. But again, I will take a blue auto out of a 65. That is pretty nice. And uh, I mean, I don't really know the player too well. But again, any numbered auto is welcome. 
And it seems like a, a vast majority of the, of the autographs are gonna be numbered as well. So you should expect at least one numbered auto in your two autos per box. We have Nauf, Keto, Rookie, Kainz, Finest First Touch, Soboslai, Purple Wave for Leipzig. That one's gonna be number 222 out of 250. And then Kal uh, Kalajic to finish that back off. Again, I do really like that you get a ton of numbered cards. Uh, we're three packs in and we have four numbered cards, including one numbered auto. So very, very nice. And the packs do open nicely too. So I will give it that. Again, surface issues all over, as you guys can see here now. So it's becoming more apparent that it is a theme of surface issues. Nice. Finest keepers, insert Rafael Gikovic. And then Nieder Lechner as our refractor and Julian Green to finish that pack off. So, um, yeah, I mean, again, with PSA, they're not going to be light on this because they're normally pretty strict with surface and this product is lacking in that. But apart from the surface issues, if you can get over that, I mean, everything else seems to be pretty decent. Zoller, Coman, Shop, and then we have a Ben Sabaney, and this one looks like a pink 279 of 300, and then Kramerich base to finish that pack off. So if you were to get like a mini box for 35 to 40 dollars as like the current prices stand actually not too bad we have look, look at the crazy amount of parallels we're getting actually i'm not going to complain about that Kimmich, we got a blue of florian verts look at that there we go and then a takuma asano finest touch insert yellow wave of alessandro shop and danny olmo base to finish that mini box off shop yellow wave gonna be 18 of 350 and then the blue verts is going to be 121 of 150 holy crap number cards galore and um this vert surface looks pretty good just one minor print line and that's it so pretty happy about that what a what a first box i have to say the product i was uh, expecting i was expecting a lot worse and i'm pleasantly surprised by the first mini box and uh we still have halfway to go it would be cool to pull a uh, short print auto, or like a super short print auto, or an insert auto, for sure. Um, so, meanwhile, I'm getting these packs open. Um, autographs, you have base autos that are not numbered, black autos out of 250, black wave autos out of 150, purple autos out of 99, purple wave out of 80, blue out of 65, green out of 50, green wave out of 30, gold out of 25, orange out of 15, orange wave out of 10, red out of 5, and super factor 1 of 1. So you can complete a massive, massive rainbow. Again, with the lower numbered parallels not having the wave variations, um... So we had Muller, Paslak, Kramerich, Finest Strikers, and Berna Sosa, Rookie Refractor, and Erling Holland base to finish that off. Um, I do know the Erling Holland base Super Refractor has been pulled. Uh, it was like a day or two into release, basically, and one of the main chase cards already got pulled, but still plenty of Super Refractor autos out there. Schlager, Huyong Zhang, and behind there, we, it's stuck. It's going to be an autograph, base autograph of Benjamin Heinrichs, for Leipzig, not terrible. And then we have Timothy Tillman, a rookie, pink, gonna be 227 out of 300, and Roberto Massimo, rookie, to finish that off. So I was hoping that that was not gonna be our auto because it was a base looking parallel, which all the auto autographs are in the refractor parallel or refractory look. Um, so that's our second auto of the box. And we still have four packs to go. Let's pull some more sweet parallels, hopefully. Kevin Vogt. We got a black. Very, very clean. I do like the black. Christopher Trimmel. 189 of 199. Refractor of... Or not refractor. Finest touch insert of Barcock. And then we have a yellow wave rookie of Robert Gumney for Augsburg. 73 of 350. And Armel Bella Kochap. For how good the yellow waves look, you'd expect them to be much more shorter printed than 350. But... I'm not going to complain. I do really like this. And then the Trimmel Black as well. Three packs to go. Anthony Modest and Kunku. And then Finest Keepers, Oliver Bauman. So I think the Finest Keepers are the only insert set that have the die cut version. And then everything else is regular size. Nicholas Dorsch, a rookie uh, refractor. And then Christopher Scott, rookie for Bayern to finish that pack off two packs left and uh, the parallels are spilling over each other there and of course i'll do a recap and give my final thoughts after this lucas holler christopher lentz nico schlutterbeck maximilian Eckstein, 
Uh, 41 to 250, Purple Wave, and then Brian Lozme, Rookie Base, to finish that back off. And let's see some more color, hopefully, in our final pack. Last pack of this 12-pack Master Box. Super, super fun rip, and if the prices drop more, I might even buy more. Uh, Barcock, Lacroix, Haraguchi, Finest Touch, Insert, Aster Vranks, Rookie Pink Wave, numbered 260 to 300, and Alfonso Davies, to finish the box off there. So, quick little recap time now. We got plenty of inserts, all nice looking, some with more surface damage than others. I do like the uh, the keepers die cut. I think the finest strikers are uh, one in 12 packs, so one per box. Then let's do our recap for the parallels. I'm just gonna take out the refractors first and separate the autos as well. So we had four refractors, so two per mini box. Meyer, Niederlechner, Sosa, and Dorsch, three of which are for Aug Augsburg, actually, funny enough. And we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven numbered parallels. Holy crap. Uh, Ranks Rookie Pink Wave out of 300, Eggstein Purple Wave out of 250, Trimmel Black out of 199, Gumney Rookie Yellow Wave out of 350, Tillman Pink out of 300, uh, Shop Yellow Wave out of 350, Verts Blue out of 150, probably my favorite parallel there, super, super clean on the Verts, Ben Sabaney, Pink out of 300, Solo Sly Purple Wave out of 250, Real Baku Black Wave out of 199, and Takuma Asano Yellow out of 350. So that is a mouthful and a handful for our parallels uh, in terms of our numbered ones. And our two autos, we got one base refractor auto of Benjamin Heinrichs, and one blue auto of Lucas Tussart color match for that Hertha Berlin kit. And that was number 37 of 65. So you know what, honestly, I'll take it. Even though I paid the pre-order price for it, um, I think this is actually not the worst. Given how many parallels you get, um, there's a pretty good shot at getting a solid name. And of course, like a nice Erling Holland, for example, in the yellow wave could not possibly hurt. And I think the cards look really, really sharp. The only problem again is, you know, the 100 card autograph, base autograph checklist, excluding the inserts and, um, so a lot of dud autos you can get, but generally speaking, you will get a colored auto. So if you are looking for numbered and that kind of stuff, or even to complete a set, this product is for you. But again, we'll see how this product does in the future or the near future as with the prices dropping. Um, if they drop down to the 60s or even 50s, like I can't really imagine it would be lower than, lower than $60 a box. But if it is, I would highly suggest you guys go do a personal rip of this. Um, there is a very high ceiling, but again, don't expect anything too crazy out of a single box. Alrighty guys, that is the video today. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.